working at a hospital. I'm a nurse at Ohio State. Justin Edwards can expect the unexpected, but when he woke up for a Saturday shift earlier this month. I got an email saying that my checking account was zero. And this? At first I was panicked. I was like still half asleep. Was the last thing on his mind. There were two checks written. One for like 8000 the other one was for 2000 Edwards looked at his bank account online. His address, account number, and routing number were all printed on the checks, but he didn't write right, them. Yeah, you don't know what So he is. filed a report That's with the, the Fairfield County Sheriff's that. Office. Because this is a, a much broader thing than, than what it might appear on the surface. Sheriff Alex Leap says Edwards' report is one of about 45 just like it being investigated in just the county's jurisdiction. So this is happening in the whole central Ohio. This surveillance video from the Whitehall Police Department shows how thieves are getting their hands on other people's checks breaking into mailboxes. Lape says the crooks are able to remove pen ink and change the recipient. And it's typically every one of those reports that you have is under $10,000. If it's 10,000 or up, the bank has a different process that they have to go through in order to cash that check. But how are they getting into the mailboxes in the first place? They have keys to them. This is where it gets dangerous. Watch as this mail carrier gets mugged in Whitehall where they've stolen their mail and their keys. So now deputies are keeping a close eye on the problem. How close? Hi. What's going on? We're with NBC4. Photojournalist Matt Blinn and I were pulled over by a Fairfield deputy seconds after we shot video of a mailbox on Refugee Road, where Edwards and other victims say they had mailed checks. Uh, the reason I stopped it was because with the vehicles matching the description of a lot of thefts of mail. Realizing it was a coincidence, Deputy Jesse Embry sent us on our way. Here's your guys' IDs back. You guys are good to go. All right, have a good one. Yep. In the meantime, Edwards Bank told him it's investigating and he will get his money back. It's like our water bill. He is now monitoring his credit and paying his bills online. It's like a $5 processing fee, so I'm gonna bite the bullet with that. Get it under control would be great to bring some people to justice would be even better, and that's the goal.